Back about 20 years ago, I was visiting my great uncle in the region around Careville, Texas. At the time, he was living in his first house in the area before he moved to a retirement community near a small set of trees. The trees were beautiful, really, as is the hill country. I was staying with him and my great aunt for about a week when we went out for an evening to walk with his dachshunds, as we tended to do in the evenings in general. The walk was uneventful as the sun set, just a normal evening complete with the calls of doves and other wildlife, and the dog just having a wonderful time. Then suddenly, all the wildlife went deafeningly silent, and both of us froze as did the dog. I remember having a distinct sense of unease and fear that I could not quite explain. And the dog looking directly in a specific area near a street light. My eyes turned to where the dog was looking. Well, there was a creature loping through there a dog-like thing about the size of a large Labrador Dachshund hybrid, save that on the creature's neck there was a head the size of a bear. And the thing was loping up and down and up and down in a way that fitted that kind of bill. It looked hypnotic in a sense, and I was more terrified than I'd ever been with anything else I'd ever seen. It gave me a visceral understanding of Lovecraft's idea that things that just look fundamentally wrong are terrifying precisely because the proportions do not fit. That thing was powerfully built, too. The upper limbs in particular were very stout. And the dog remained frozen for another few minutes before we moved back to the house. Now, I'm not sure what precisely it was or if it was a dog man, but it convinced me that something like that could exist. The sudden silence that lasted for a few minutes after it left and the dog just being frozen without even growling or barking still sends chills in me when I remember it. As my only encounter was something like a cryptid too, it remained something very vivid in my mind. Not least because I know how dogs move and I know what wolves would move like. And whatever that was, was no natural thing that made sense. The head was so massive that it dragged the body down with it when it moved. It had a very fluid aspect to the motion at the same time. And that dissonance is what made it hypnotic. Also, not an easy thing to forget because it just looked, it just looked wrong. Head goes down, back limbs go up, head goes up, upper body goes up with it all in this fluid motion. To be as specific as I can get on this occasion. <laughs>